Raise up, my name's Brad and this is Operation N64. Now for any of you that are new to the channel, in this series we're trying to build an N64 collection starting off with just £10. By using our charity shops, our car boots, our Facebook marketplace, looking for stuff for cheap that we can sell for a profit to build a game fund to buy N64 bangers. Now before we get into the updates to the game fund and this week's episode, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys. I just want to thank everyone who watches these videos, everyone who subscribed to the channel, everyone who likes the videos, comments, I really, really appreciate it. And as it's been a little while and we're coming very, very close to the end of Operation N64, I thought it was about time we did another giveaway. So if you want to be in with a chance of entering that giveaway, stick around till the end of the video and I'll explain how you can do that. So let's get into this week's episode and do the updates to the game fund. We made five sales this week. Now, the first thing we sold was that Ajax kit. We sold that for £20.06 uh, plus postage. Now, you don't pay any fees on second-hand clothes on eBay, so we're paying no fees on that. Now, the next thing we sold was that... Um, uh, we partied box and manual only. We had that free from a charity shop and we sold that for £5 plus postage. We then sold that Chelsea goalkeeper kit that my old girl gave me. Uh, we sold that for £19.99 plus postage and I think we undervalued it because it sold pretty quickly. Uh, but I had nothing in it and it's a nice £20 into the game fund. So you live and learn. Maybe next time I'll stick it for a bit higher. The next thing we sold was, if you remember, I picked up that stack of PS3 games for free on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I picked out all the games I didn't have, and I think there was seven left. Stuck them on eBay as a bundle for $9.99, and they sold. So that's $9.99 plus postage. And then the last thing we sold, we've actually had it for bloody ages. It was a Spyro plush, and we sold that for £6 plus postage. So after fees and everything, that's a grand total of this. To add to the game fund, for a grand total of this. So yeah, game fund's looking pretty good. I need to build it up a little bit more. I have got a stack of stuff to take to CEX, but whether I'm gonna get time to do it this week, I don't know. Uh, but having said all that, let's try our best to get out there and find a few more bits and pieces. We're getting super close now, so let's get going. So this week's hunting has been very limited, so we needed it needed it to be fruitful and it just so happened to be every time we hit a charity shop we were finding bits and pieces uh, first thing we saw here was this xbox 360 with a nice clear controller uh, they had 50 or 60 quid on it so it's a bit too high for me unfortunately uh, straight to the gaming shelf and there's a copy of wii sports i'm gonna pick that up all day long uh, a couple of wii games as well four quid on the spongebob uh, some of the games that have been there quite some time but yeah wii sports always going to pick that up for a couple of quid uh, a little tub of VHS here, some Spice Girls, uh, some Take That, some Madonna, uh, a couple of Power Rangers ones, uh, Lord of the Rings. Pulled out the interesting ones, had a look and um, see if they're worth picking up. Uh, some of these were quite mouldy, um, so yeah, ended up leaving them behind. But for 50p, I picked up one, uh, which was which was in good condition. I then headed over to the toy section and in amongst the toys was this hardback Simpsons book. Very cool book, really nice condition. It's sort of like a how to draw uh, the characters. Very, very cool. Uh, £2.50 on this one. Another day, another charity shop and another couple of finds. Very cool Maui hook. Keep your eyes out for this one. Uh, sells pretty well and pretty consistently. So yeah, keep your eyes out for that. And another VTech uh, camera here. Uh, just drawn to them and now I know that CX take them I have to pick them up Another day and we're back in that same charity shop and they had this cool rocky boxing glove outside um, I didn't pick it up uh, the price on it was just a bit too high I actually have one of these myself in the games room uh, I thought it might be worth picking up but yeah, they have quite a high price on it, which is mad. Uh, the pricing in these charity shops can be a bit strange to me sometimes. Uh, things that you think would be worth nothing or have a real low price have a high price. And things that you'd expect to have a high price have a low price. It's just it's just wild, strange world that it is. But yeah, nice to pick up a couple of bits and pieces in here again. Uh, I love this charity shop. The only downfall for this place is the lack of signal. So it's an absolute nightmare to look things up. Uh, but I do, I do tend to get pretty lucky in there. Uh, most of the time. Uh, headed to a couple charity shops on my lunch break, I believe this was. A couple local to work, and this is a massive charity shop. Huge, huge charity shop, but they never really have games. You'd expect such a big charity shop to have games, or is that just a, a sort of like a, 
uh, misleading. You think they're massive, they, you, you'd expect more. Uh, just because they're big doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's a bit of a shame in here. I never really get games in this place. A bunch of PC games and stuff. They do sell box sets pretty cheap in here, uh, but they've definitely been picked through. Uh, a couple games on the shelf here. Uh, this is a mad little charity shop as well. The, the opening times are wild. It doesn't really have any rhyme or reason about when it's open. So it's kind of like if you see it open when you're passing, it's best to stop then because the next time you pass, it's probably closed. So yeah, a couple games in here, but nothing worth picking up. So we popped into Old Faithful. This used to be my favorite spot. Uh, it's changed a little bit. Maybe there's more people in there. Maybe they're being a bit more picky of what they're putting out. I definitely hear them talking about eBay a lot in here. So I'm assuming a lot more stuff is going straight to eBay rather than the shop floor. It's a bit of a shame, but uh, always still going to pop in and check it out because I still get lucky in here from time to time. Uh, headed over to the toy section. Uh, toys is a bit more, I'm having a bit more luck in the toy area these days than the game area. So I'm always having a little butchers about here looking for stuff to uh, pick up. And then the last stop was a couple of other local out-of-town charity shops. Fast and Furious box set here. I thought it might be worth more than, than it is, but a four quid was about what they give you in trading in CX. And then I saw this very cool toy right here, this big track. Uh, very cool. Had to pick it up. Couldn't leave it behind. And we are back in the games room. And we didn't get to do a great deal of hunting this week. But it seemed that every time we hit a charity shop, we found something, which is pretty unheard of. Doesn't always happen that way. We found some pretty decent stuff. I'm very happy with the return, considering the amount of time we had. Now, we spent a grand total of £15.50 from the game fund, so we can deduct that now. Got a couple games for the collection, nothing crazy. And stick around and we'll do that giveaway right at the end. Now, let's get straight into the stuff we picked up. So the first charity shop that we hit, we found a few bits in there. And the first thing we saw was... This Wii Sports uh, for £2 in the cardboard sleeve. Now, they're currently giving you £6 trading in CEX for this. Uh, they sell it for £10. I've sold this pretty frequently on eBay before. Uh, the, the cardboard sleeve here is a bit ripped here and there. So, um, even if I trade it in, I'm tripling my money on it. But yeah, Wii Sports, always, always worth picking up. While we were in there, there was uh, like a tub of VHS on the floor. And I pulled out the interesting ones, had a look. Uh, a lot of them had a lot of mould on the... Uh, on the uh, like film, uh, white mold on the film. I know you can clean that, but I haven't got a clue how to do it. Uh, so yeah, I left most of them behind, but this one here I thought I'd pick up. It is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is teamwork and a pressing engagement. It's got the Yellow Ranger and Big Bear, so she must be the focal point of these episodes. But yeah, I definitely had to pick this up for 50p. It's Power Rangers, there's definitely a market for this. Potentially maybe five or six quid, we'll have to look it up properly, but yeah. Very cool to see, very cool to pick up. And the last thing we found in that shop is this really nice Simpsons handbook. It's a hardback book. It's got this like um, material down the spine here. Very cool. Secret tips from the pros. So this is basically a book teaching you sort of how to draw the characters, which is really sick to be fair. Um, I paid £2.50 for it. And I think it's selling for about 10 to 15 quid. Uh, originally it was like $39.99, $39.99. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Had to pick it up. Really nice condition. Very cool book. Yeah, hopefully about 10 to 15 quid. So that was our first charity shop visit and we found that stuff, which was just fantastic. We then headed to one of the locals and we found a couple bits in there. Now the first thing we found is this. Whoa, Brad. Whoa. Now the first thing we found in that charity shop is this Maui hook here. Now I've seen people sell this on uh, eBay before. Um, it sells for about 20 to 25 quid. I have seen it go for like 40 before, which is wild. Um, it works and everything. So yeah, keep your eyes out for this. And this might be one of them items that's worth sort of holding on to. Uh, having the, the new Moana film is coming out very shortly. So this may be a sort of item to hold on to and it might, um, the film's release might have some effect on the value. Uh, but for me, I'm in a rush. I need to get this money now. So I'm gonna list it straight away. Potentially, hopefully, about 20 to 25 quid. But yeah, Maui's hook. Keep your eyes out. 
I actually really like Moana. Great film, man. Great film. Great Disney film. Disney's been lacking in recent times. So, yeah, that was a good one. And on that same trip, we found another uh, VTech camera here. A pink one. Kitty Zoom camera. Um, now, I pick these up quite often and can't seem to get rid of them on eBay. But someone in the comments, I can't remember who it was, but someone in the comments made me aware that they take this stuff in CEX. So, yeah, keep your eyes out for this. I think the C grade of this will give you, like, £7 trading. So, I paid £2 for it. So I'll take £7 trading on this all day long. So yeah, keep your eyes out for these VTech, uh, I think watches, cameras, maybe even um, uh, tablets and stuff from VTech. Uh, they take it in at CX, a lot of the stuff. So you can trade it in there if you're struggling to sell it on eBay like me. So yeah, we went to that. So that was the first trip to that particular tarot shop. And then we managed to get there again. It is literally around the corner to me. It's right by the post office. It's right by a co-op. So any excuse to go to the shop or go to the post office, I'm popping in there as well. And on the second occasion, we found some stuff also. And we found a couple of games for the collection in there, along with a sort of brand new double here. It's got the seal on it. It's only opened at the top here. I've checked it, all the cards are there. It's in fantastic condition. This is actually a super fun game. Me and the kids play like the Harry Potter version. Um, I thought it'd be worth a bit more because I'm brand new. This thing's like 15 odd quid. Uh, but it's selling pretty regularly for about five, five, six, seven quid. Um, but yeah, I thought it was worth picking up. It's a real fun game. Games are probably better to hold on to to like the Christmas period. Ball games and stuff seem to do pretty well around Christmas. Everyone plays ball games at Christmas, don't they? So yeah, I'm not going to hold on to it, but these things are worth holding on to. Potentially five, six quid, seven quid, uh, maybe stick on Vinted, I don't know. <clears throat> and then while I was paying for that and the games, they have like a glass cabinet at the front there. I've had stuff out of there before. They sort of keep their more, um, I suppose, valuable items in there or stuff they think uh, people might try and rob, I don't know. But anyway, I was at the till, I looked in the cabinet and I saw something, I thought it was like a tablet or something, and it was this Kindle, Amazon Kindle here. It is a seventh generation, I think, or a Kindle 7. Uh, Paperwhite 7, I don't know. But yeah, Kindle 7, I believe it is. No charger, but I have a bunch of chargers in the house. Now on CX, I believe like a C version of this, a C grade of this, they're giving you like 19 quid trading. I pay £2 for it. So at worst, there's 19 quid trading there. It works. You can see here. Oh, we can read some Andy McNabb recoil if we'd like. But yeah, nice thing to find for 2 quid. Uh, yeah, I didn't catch it on camera. Like I said, it's right by the till. But yeah, what a win that is. Potentially 19 quid minimum. I think 32 quid is like A grade, but I don't think I'll get A grade for it. But yeah, great pickup that. And then the last pickup I think is super cool. I might hold on to it. I think my boy would absolutely love it. I've seen Master of Pieces pick this up before or something in the same franchise or range, if you like. Uh, and, and he picked it up, but he struggled a little bit to get rid of it in the end. Uh, but it is this... Uh, big track uh, it's like a programmable sort of vehicle you can sort of pre-program it and it'll do what, what you've ordered it to do i believe i believe that's what it does but this thing's in real nice condition you've got all the instructions there and this is one second this is the oops almost dropped it this is the rocket launching or the rocket launcher version it's a mini in size because they i think they come in a lot bigger size than this but this one comes with this uh cool rocket launcher i believe you can pre-program and it will shoot it's very clean, the battery compartment is nice and clean. I looked on eBay and I can only see one of these listed with the rocket launcher. A lot of the other ones are just the big Tonka sort of size ones. Uh, but yeah, it was listed for 40 and because I looked at it, they sent me an offer of 30, so maybe they're struggling to get rid of it. But having said that, I think my boy would absolutely love this. He loves this sort of thing. So maybe I'll keep it for him and just put the three quid back in the game fund because that's how much I paid, I paid three quid for it. Maybe I'll put that back in and keep this for the boy. Uh, but yeah, cool little find. Uh, yeah, I couldn't leave it behind for three quid. Even if my boy has it, I thought it was really cool. So that is everything we picked up to try and sell or trade. I'm pretty happy with the return considering how often we got to go out this week. It wasn't a great deal. Uh, so yeah, pretty happy with what I found. We can get this stuff traded in or sold as quick as possible. Uh, we can get that game fund up enough and hopefully get Mario Party 3 sooner rather than later. My sort of personal deadline is looming. I've got stuff coming up in the not too distant future that's going to keep me extremely busy. So I'd like to complete this operation before that all kicks off. And then maybe uh, in a couple of months we can pick this back up or, or do something similar. Uh, but yeah, I told you guys in the past video, I've, you know, I've got stuff coming on. So yeah, I want to get it done. Anyway, Brad going off on a tangent. You're boring, Brad. Shut up. Uh, I picked up a couple games for the collection. 
So yeah, nothing wild, just a couple WWE games here. The WWE 2K17, Brock Lesnar on the front there. And WWE 2K20 with, I believe, Roman Reigns and is it Becky Lynch? I'm not really clued up on wrestlers these days. But I weren't going to leave them behind for a pound a piece. I think, they, I think it's like a four or five pound, it's a couple of quid in CEX, but cheaper than CEX. So I'll pick them up for the collection all day long. So yeah, that's everything we picked up to try and sell trade and for the collection. And now let's get into the giveaway. So before I started this series, Operation N64, I had somewhat of a little N64 collection. I had maybe three complete in-box games and then a stack of maybe 20 car only. And then when I started this series, I wanted to go complete in-box only. And I started getting rid of a few of the car only stuff and some of it I held on to. And one of the games I held on to was Zelda Ocarina of Time. What a fantastic game this is. Probably one of the best games on the N64. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, I want to give this away to one of you guys. You might be collecting car only, or you might want to sell it yourself or trade it in yourself or whatever you want to do with it. I'd like to give it away to one of you lot. Just to say thank you for all, all your support, for you for watching the channel, for all, all that good stuff. It means a lot to me, and I just want to show my appreciation and give you guys something back. So yeah, all you have to do to be in with the chance of winning this is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That's a given. Uh, like the video, and then just comment, Zelda is rad. That is, Zelda is rad. That's all you have to comment, and then I think possibly in the next episode or maybe the episode after give people a bit of time to enter we'll pick a winner from all them comments and i'll be sending you this copy of zelda ocarina of time if you haven't played it fantastic game or if you want to sell it trade it do whatever you want with it this will be yours so yeah guys as always if you're enjoying this series we're getting so close now smash that like button if you are new here consider subscribing to the channel and as always be rad stay rad and i'll see you in the next one peace